Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period, as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also, in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers, and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello, boys, girls, parents, and teachers. I am Julia K. Sandiman, your radio teacher for this lesson. Welcome. Our subject today is general science for students of grade six. Our subject today is general science for students of grade six. And the topic is function of the human body. Function of the human body. Organs and systems. Please take the pencil, pen, and copy book and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome and let's learn. The aim of our lesson is to help you learn some systems of the body, their functions, and how they are related. Today's lesson will help you to learn some systems of the body, their functions, and how they are related. Boys and girls, the body has many systems, but for your level, we will be talking about six only because you are six graders, so we're going to be talking about six of these systems. But as you go further, you will learn about all of the other systems within the human body. Now listen to this, and I want you to imagine this. I'm going to relate it to that of the human body system. A country has lots of cities. Each city has lots of streets. Along each street, there are lots of houses. In those houses, there are lots of rooms. We can show this in the following way. Country, cities, streets, houses, rooms. Now, your body is organized in similar way. Body, systems, organs, tissues, cells. So in this, the body represents the country, systems, cities, organs, streets, tissues, houses, cells, rooms. Now, boys and girls, your body has lots of systems. Remember, our aim for today is to help you learn some systems of the body, their functions, and how they are related. The body has lots of systems. Each system contains one or more organs. Some examples of your organs are your heart, your liver, your brain, and your kidneys. These are all examples of some of your organs. Each organ is composed of tissues, and each tissue is composed of cells. Now that you know your body consists of systems, organs, tissues, and cells, we are going to name some systems of the body. It means organ or organs and their functions. Remember, the aim of our lesson is to help you learn some systems of the body, their functions and how they are related. We will take a short break and bring you some health tips. And when we get back, we will go right into the discussion of our topic. 
Please remember to pick up your pencils, pen, and copybook and get ready for our lesson. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person coughs or sneezes, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up on the hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose, or eyes. It follows that the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Welcome back. Are you ready? Remember, our topic is function of the human body, organs and systems. And the aim of our lesson today is to help you learn some systems of the body, their functions and how they are related. Before the short break, I asked you to pick up your pencil, pen and copy book and get ready for our lessons. Are you ready? Good. I know that you are ready. Boys and girls, the six systems of the body that we will be talking about today are circulatory system, digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system, reproductive system, and respiratory system. Remember, for your grade level, we are only going to discuss six of the systems of the body, but the body has many systems. Now, boys and girls, I know you are ready to take down short notes on each system. First, one, circulatory system. The circulatory system, the main organ is the heart and its responsibility. The heart acts as a pump to move blood around the body. So the circulatory system is responsible to move blood around the body with its organ, the heart. Digestive system. The main organs are the stomach, intestines, that is the small and large intestine, and the liver. Its function is digestion and absorption. The breaking down of food which are then also absorbed into the body. So, the digestive system is responsible to break down food in our body. Unlike the circulatory system, it is there to move blood around our body through its organ, the heart. Expiratory system. The main organs are the kidneys and the skin. Its function is to remove waste from our body. Example, the skin by sweating. The nervous system. The nervous system, the main organ is the brain. It takes the information through our senses, passes the information and triggers reaction. The nervous system is responsible to send out information to the rest of the body. Reproductive system. The main organs are the testes and the ovaries. Its function is to produce air and spring cells, transport and sustain these cells and nurture the development of offspring. The reproductive system is the reason that we are here today. The last respiratory system. The main organ is the lungs. It is responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. That's breathing. When you inhale and exhale, that's the respiratory system that is responsible for that. And the main organ is the lungs. So we breathe in and breathe out is the responsibility of the respiratory system through the lungs. Now, boys and girls, we have read out the six, six things that we told you we'll be talking about today. Circulatory system and the main organ is the heart, which is responsible to move blood around the body. The 
digestive system, the main organs are the stomach, intestines, liver. And the function of the digestive system is to break down food in the body. Excretory system, the main organs are the kidney and the skin. And its function is to remove waste from our body. And we give you an example, we say the skin by sweating. The nervous system, the main organ is the brain. And it is responsible to send out information to the rest of the body. The reproductive system, the main organs are the testes and the ovaries. And it is responsible for reproduction in the body. That is the making of human beings, boys and girls. The respiratory system, the main organ is the lungs. And it is responsible for taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. That is breathing in and breathing out. Boys and girls. Now that you have listened to and write down the sex systems and main organs in the human body and its main function, I want you to understand that our body systems work together to make us healthy. The body systems must work together to make us healthy as human. In as much, each of those systems have its own function but they must all work together to make us healthy. For example, when we are hungry, the eyes in the nervous system find food. When we get hungry, our eyes look around for food. And our eyes is in the nervous system. And we find food. When we have eaten, the digestive system breaks down the food into nutrients that can be absorbed. And the circulatory system carry these nutrients to where they are needed in the body. So you see, all of the systems must work together to make us healthy. We will take a short break and bring you some health tips again. And when we get back, we will continue with our lesson. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problem, kidney failure or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Welcome. Now boys and girls, let's test ourselves to see if we can remember some information from our lesson. Listen as I read each question. Are you ready? Question number one. And you are going to choose from these options A, B, and C. Which of these correctly shows the structure of the body? Which of these correctly shows the structure of the body? A. Body, tissue, organ, system, cell. A. Body, tissue, organ, system, cell. B. Body, system, organ, tissue, cell. B. Body, system, organ, tissue, cell. Cell. C. Body, tissue, system, organ, cell. C. Body, tissue, system, organ, cell. Just write down your answer. We will come right back to that. Question number two. Which system is responsible for the breaking down of food in the body? Question number two, which system is responsible for the breaking down of food in the body? Did you get the two questions correct? If you got all correct, thumbs up and give yourself a big hand clap. If you did not, don't worry. Just keep listening to the end of this lesson. And by the end, you will get all 
correct. Now, let's answer our questions. Question number one says, which of these correctly show the structure of the body? And we gave you three options. A, B, and C. And the correct option is B. B is the correct option. Body, system, organ, tissue, and cell. That is the correct structure of the body. And question number two says, which system is responsible for the breaking down of food in the body? And the answer is digestive system. And I know you get that. So clap for yourself for all of the answers. Let's take a short break and bring you some health tips. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure, or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Wow. Welcome. Thank you, boys and girls, for your listening ears. Boys and girls, in our lesson today, we talked about the function of the human body. We said that the body consists of six stems, organs, tissues, and cells. We also need six systems of the human body. The circulatory system, digestive system, excretory system, nervous system, reproductive system, and respiratory system. We also need the main organ or organs and their main functions. Remember that the body systems all work together to make us healthy. In our next lesson, we will talk more about the circulatory system. I want you to continue reading about the circulatory system. So the next time we come back, we will all understand how the circulatory system worked. Thank you, boys and girls. Please continue to study. We will meet next time to continue our lesson. Remember to stay healthy. Wash your hands continuously and keep a distance. Stay away from crowd. If you have any questions or need clarification on today's lesson, please text it to the following numbers. 0886-579-678. Again, 0886-579-678. Six seven eight or zero seven 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 nine eight three eight zero five. I have been your radio teacher for today, Julia K. Sedima. Thank you, boys and girls. I love you and continue to read ahead. God bless you. Amen.